welcome back to Teacher Tom's Tutorials. Um, do you have dum dums in your class? Maybe give them out for a reward sometimes. Cheap little suckers. These are pretty good, but you know what's even better than this? When your son makes a giant dum dum sucker um, in art class, which I love, and I would love to use as sort of a bop the mole mallet every once in a while. I'm like, you know, you have one of those classes, that, that fifth hour class, that second hour class, that, no, never mind, sorry. Anyway, um, today's lesson is on uh, how to create a self-grading quiz um, in Google Drive using something called Flubaroo. So, um, for starters, you're going to need to, well, let's check it out. You need to create a form, right? So we're in our forms. Um, you should already know how to create a form from a previous video, but um, this is, of course, what the form will look like um, when, the, when the students view it. Um, this is a test, so what you're going to have to do uh, before you uh, run your Flubrew script is actually take the test yourself and submit it yourself. Hopefully you get all the answers correct. And you definitely want to get all the answers correct because this is your um, key, your test key. Uh, well, once the students have all taken the test, of course, you should know by now that you're going to get a self-generated form um, called Responses. And here's where Flubaroo comes into play. You can see on mine, um, I already have Flubaroo installed, but it's very simple to install. You just go ahead and click on Insert Script, because Flubaroo is a script. What exactly is a script? <laughs> I don't know. but it works. Check it out. So search for the script just by banging in Flubaroo up there just as it uh, sounds. F-L-U-B-A-R-O-O -O, Flubaroo and there you have it. You will find it right there. You just click install. It takes just a few seconds to install. It's going to ask you a couple of simple questions. Um, not a big deal. Once it installs you'll see it just it'll, it'll pop up right here and then it's simple to use. You just click on the Flubaroo and you click grade the assignment. In my case it's going to say regrade because I've already graded it but the steps are exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, grade or regrade the assignment. It, it runs the script for you. Um, in this case, since I'm regrading it, it will replace the existing grades, which is actually a nice thing if you've got, uh, maybe you had a couple of students who were absent and then they take the test on another day. This will regrade the whole test, but it will actually only just grade the newer submissions. Anyway, click yes, um, and then the script will uh, run through a few things. First of all, it's going to ask you to look through every single question and to assign it a point value. You can, you know, assign different questions, different point values, depending on what you want. Um, there will be like an identifier um, uh, like this. It says identify student. If you've, you you got to use your um, form to automatically collect their username. Um, and you'll see it's a username. So I don't want there to be any points for getting their name right or wrong. I did notice, I kind of scrolled down through and it, and it for some reason happened to insert sort of a blank uh, column, which I didn't have in my in my test, but I got around that by just saying skip grading that particular question, which isn't a question at all. So you want you do want to go through and read all your questions and make sure that they are correct there and that whatever value is assigned is assigned. Then you click continue and then Flubaroo is going to uh, ask you which one you want to use as your key. And that's where you got to search down for your name. So um, there's mine. I'm going to click that one. This is your grading key. Um, click on that. Flubrew takes just a second to go ahead and grade your assignment. Um, and then it's going to create a new addition to the spreadsheet called grades, which you see popped down in the, in the uh, as a new tab down there. Kind of neat. And it's going to there you go. Give you a quick summary. Tells you how many points were possible in the test and then the average score. Um, let me click view grades here to get that out of the way. Um, tells you if you had any like extremely low questions, maybe you want to throw those out. Um, but there you have it. It gives you the total points that uh, each particular student scored, which you then can enter into your grade book. I wish it talked with uh, PowerSchool, but right now it doesn't. And here's another neat little feature that I really liked um, using the script. Um, you can click on a little button here, which will let you email the grades out to all the students using their Gmail. As far as the emailing goes, it's really simple. Go back and click on Flubaroo again, and then check on the email grades tab there. And um, the email address question is, of course, the username. If you want to include the list of questions and scores, check that box and check the answer key if you want to do that. And if you want to, you know, 
punch in some kind of message to your students, you can do that. Click continue and it will run a little bit of a script and then automatically send out an email to all the students. It will tell them exactly what grade they got on the test. It will tell them that uh, it'll, it'll, it'll tell them what they chose for an answer and if it's correct it'll be in green. If it's incorrect it'll be in red so it can see where they made the mistakes. And bam, just like that you have been an effective communicator. And that's it. Flubrew. Try the script. Check it out. It's a simple thing to do. And I don't know. Thanks for checking in again. Get yourselves one of those uh, mouse mounts. Mine's not for sale. Have a great day. See ya.